Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, so today we've got hopefully a really quick video. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I've tried to give you guys some kind of a shorter DIY content. So I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video short. Uh, but today we are actually going to do a quick uh, install of a new product that's coming out on the table. This is from Frank and Turbo. Uh, they are actually working on uh, ignition coil boots for the B58 ignition coils. Uh, they're actually going to put together their entire uh, an entire kit that's going to be uh, installable for anybody that's looking to upgrade to the B58 ignition coils. But uh, I currently have the Nexus coils but I haven't been happy with the boots that, that come with the ignition coils uh, for that Nexus kit. So um, I reached out to Frank and Turbo. They sent me out a set of boots to try out on uh, my F10. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the camera around. We'll jump right into that and I'll show you guys what we have. So as you guys can see, I'm still working on our alternator uh, replacement, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and dress these uh, B58 coils. So as you guys can see, I mean, of course, I have my, my Dynan B58 coils. I love uh, this Nexus kit. But one thing that um, that I don't like about the kit is if you actually look in here, you can kind of see how these coils sit in over the cylinder. Um, the coil boots themselves are a little bit longer, so the uh, the actual ignition coil sits higher up on the valve cover, and then there's that gap that you actually see. Um, that's not that, that's one of the things I, that I would prefer to fix on this kit. And so what Frank and Turbo has done is they have actually worked with the company on getting some new boots, uh, coil boots to replace uh, these, uh, these kits here. So that's, I believe, what they're going to be providing with their kit. So what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these ignition coils out and we'll take a look at them side by side so we can compare how these new boots look to the kits, uh, the boots that are coming in the Nexus kit. So to give you guys a side by side, you can see this is the boot that comes with the Nexus kit, uh, which is, is like I said, this has been working very, very nicely. Uh, but this is the new Franken Turbo boot. Uh, you can notice how much larger it is up at the top, which should seal that entire spark, spark plug um, um, housing. So uh, the boot itself is looks like to be exactly the same length. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get it set in place. One thing I will uh, point out as well, too is that the spring inside this boot is much longer. So as you guys can see, it's actually pushed all the way in to the uh, the, the uh, connector on the, the coil um, head itself. And you can actually see a little bit of this spring sticking out. Uh, the only time I've ever had any issues with these B58 coils is um, I installed them one time and the spring itself uh, was just kind of pushed in there. It was a little tight and um, under regular acceleration, uh, everything was fine, but when I went wide, wide open throttle, I started getting misfires because there was it was not making good contact because the spring was not elongated the way it should be. So I actually had to pull off a couple of these coils, uh, kind of pull that spring to make sure it was stretched out so that it would contact both areas and then reinstall, and I haven't had any issues with that since. But that should not be an issue with this because these springs are so much longer uh, in this boot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing, and then I will be back with you guys to give you an idea of what it looks like freshly installed, uh, like I said, I think it's going to look cleaner because it is going to close up that cylinder or that um, the uh, the housing for the spark plug and the coil. And then we'll also see if we can get some runs and just see uh, if, if we uh, basically how our, our timing corrections and things of that uh, nature look and make sure we don't have any misfires. So boots have been reinstalled and hopefully you guys can see that. I, I said boots, I actually mean the coils, but that sits so much more flush. Uh, that you, you remove the entire gap around that entire, uh, where, um, around the spark plug cylinder or housing. Uh, I even, uh, like I said, I, I would imagine that you may even be able to actually bolt these d directly up to, um, the base. Um, I haven't tried, but you may be able to actually take out the brackets and, and bolt them up. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So someone would want to R&D that one. Uh, I just don't feel like doing that at the moment. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But uh, so that looks good. That's complete. Uh, and then I will be getting back on this once I get a delivery. But uh, I will be back with you guys here uh, when we can actually run the vehicle and, uh, and test out to see if we have any misfires or anything like that. Okay, guys, I decided that I was going to stop being lazy. Um, <laughs> I went ahead and on this first set of uh, coils, I went ahead and removed my Nexus bracket so you guys can see that here. I've got them pushed firmly in place and they seat 
real nicely in there uh, around the um, the housing for the uh, ignition coils. Uh, however, I don't have anything to run my bolts into now with uh, with them seated all the way down. And there's not a huge difference there. If you look between this one here and the, and the two behind them, not a big difference there in height. So uh, because of that, you know, my thoughts right now are there's nothing to keep this from working its way, maybe through vibration or whatnot, and unseating off of the spark plug. So um, I may double check with uh, Frank and Turbo because I know that they have been, uh, you know, doing the R&D on this setup. Um, right now, I think I'm going to leave my bracket in place just so that I can firmly mount these and not have them uh, move on me. But uh, like I said, I'll check back maybe in a later video and let you know. Uh, if uh, you know what the um, what the results are there. Just for reference, before I end this video or before we go to uh, our data log or results, like this here is set in place. I went in and disconnected it. It was pushed all the way in, and it like it's it actually takes takes some force to get that out, even without that bracket in place. So um, it's probably it's probably absolutely fine to run these without the bracket. Uh, but again, I just I'll probably verify with Frank and Turbo. But uh, as you guys can see, like when you when you actually seat them in there, because of the way the design of these boots, it does it does seem to seal that uh, the cylinder there very very uh, very very well, uh, right there in that that housing. So as you guys can see from that install, it's simple install. Like of course my B58 conversion was already done, so all we had to do was just go ahead and install uh, swap out these boots. Um, but I really really like the uh, design of these Franken Turbo boots. Um, I believe that. Uh, Midnight Motorsports is also going to be providing these boots with a kit that they're working on. I think it's for a, ge a different generation, so don't quote me on that, but just something uh, for any of you guys that are looking for something that's actually not for the N55, you might have some options coming soon as well too. So um, uh, we did some, we've done some running around on the car, uh, did some data logs, um, all of our uh, timing, you know, all of our ignition. Uh, there's, there's really limited ignition corrections, uh, and that's actually working off about 24 to 25 PSI. So everything is looking top notch. Um, and we will be back with more videos for you guys soon uh, once I get everything lined up with the fueling here on uh, the F10. So if this is your first time to the channel, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that, uh, that notification bell as well because I have more content coming for you guys. Everyone else be safe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.